In this design tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to do a floral design. Hi guys and welcome back to a new Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to do this very simple floral theory design over here. As you guys can see at the moment it's still selected here with my background and as well the theory logo itself. So basically what I want to do here is just turn everything off and start from scratch as well. Also I'm going to go to view guides, clear everything from scratch. Great, so for all the newbies that are new around here, basically you need to create a canvas first of all. So go to File, New, and over here add your custom name. Select a preset, or if you want to also add your custom width and height and resolution. So I'm working with 1020 pixels, 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels and 300 resolution. This is due to my screen recorder. Just put a name over here as well, and you can also save this as a preset. Hit OK and you will be left with this. Great, so for the start, what I want to do is just open here a new layer and fill this new layer. First of all, I'm going to rename this to start so you guys know where we're at. I'm going to fill this with a complete white foreground color. So again, select the marking tool. I'm going to make a big selection around the canvas. Hit right click and say fill this up with white. Over here, under the contents area, again white. Hit OK. And we already got a white background. Great. So I'm going to press Command D now, get out of the selection. I'm working with a Mac, so if you're a Windows user, please use Control when I say Command. Okay, great. So first step, again, T for the text tool, and I'm just going to put here a big selection. And first of all, we're going to put now just the company name or the branding name, whatever you have. Okay, so mine is now obviously Floral Design or Floral Theory. That was the whole word. Okay, floral, and I'm going to put here theory as well. Sorry, there's a mistake. Theory, there we go. Okay, so what I want to do now is first of all put a complete different font here. So I'm going to select all and as well go here to the fonts. And I'm going to choose something on a B brand all. Let's have a look. You have to find it. Brand ball fat. Okay, so that's my font. You guys can also find that in the description down below, a link, and also you can download it on dafont.com. Okay, so I've selected it. First of all, I'm going to make this nice and big. Say something around 30 pixels. Let's have a look here. Okay, 31, that's good. But the tracking is still a bit too far for me. So I'm going to go to the character box over here, and first of all, going to select here also italic, so it's a leaning a little bit. I really like that. Okay, and as well take the tracking down all the way. So have a look here. Okay, that's a bit too much. Maybe something like around minus 20. Great. So now I can also make it a bit bigger still. Say something around 35 pixels and accept it from the top. As well, the foreground color is black. You guys feel free to choose anything that you need here from the top. Okay, select the tools and just move tool, put it somewhere here. So where's the center? Hmm. Now, what I'm going to do is go to view, new guide, and first of all, create some guidelines so I can find the center. As well, for the horizontal, I'm going to go under position and say 50%. Okay, put a guide over there. And as well, again, view, new guide, and again, vertical, under 50% again. Okay, and there we go. Now we've got the center. Great, so I'm going to take floral theory, just the text over here, put it somewhere into the center. Okay, so for the start, pretty happy with that. Next step, again, text tool. And again, I want to put now a company slogan or something, yeah, in a way like a slogan. So I'm going to make a selection again. And over here, I'm just going to write a boutique floral or floral boutique, something that way. So A, I'm going to write everything in capital letters because of my font that I'm going to use now. Okay, so boutique, let me just type that quickly. Okay, boutique, you guys can't really read anything now because it's just too bli big actually. Okay, so I'm going to select everything again with command A. You can also just use the text tool and run over the whole text. First of all, let's make it nice and small over here, something like 10. I need to choose also a new font type. So again, go to the font library. And I'm going to work with Helvetica Neue again because I really love it. Helvetica Neue, there we go. As well, you guys can also find that in the description down below or on dafont.com if you want. Okay, so I can see a few things already. First of all, what I want to do is turn off italic here. 
the tracking. I'm going to play with that in a moment. I can see a mistake over here, boutique, there we go. And as well, what I still want to do is change the type of the font. So again, select everything and just go to ultra bold or ultra light here. Sorry. Okay, so we've got that. And now I need to play with the tracking a little bit. So let's just select it. And I'm going to use the tracking to maybe a 280 or something. Let's have a look. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Maybe just make it a bit more bigger. 13 pixels, black foreground color, and OK. Select everything, and I'm just going to move it somewhere over here. So what I still want to do now is basically just create like a little bit of a swipe in here. So it just combines everything a little bit nicer together. As you guys can see here from our previous image, let me just turn that on so you guys can see it actually. So over here, I just want to create like a little bit of a swipe in there and then as well a few leaves here. Okay, let's turn that off and this on again. Next step that I want to do is just create a new empty layer here. We're going to maybe use that as our swipe or swift, whatever you want to name this. Okay, so under Swift, I'm going to use the pen tool now. So press P for the pen tool and literally I'm going to start out just with a big swipe over here. If you guys want to know more about the pen tool, have a look on the channel. I've created a tutorial just on learning how to work with a pen tool. All right, so I'm simply going to start somewhere over here now and make another anchor point over here and just drag this out. I'm just going to show it to you guys really quickly and roughly. Okay, something like this. Now, I'm going to hold Alt and take this last anchor point here at the end. Hold Alt, keep on holding it, and move this little guy over here. So it's just combined. So the next path also goes into this direction. Okay, and somewhere over here. I'm going to make this a little bit round. And another anchor point somewhere over here. Yeah, maybe just a little bit. Okay, so now again, hold Alt, take this guy from here from the back, move him all the way over to this side. And again, another anchor point over here. And I'm kind of looking, let me just press Z and zoom in a little bit. I'm kind of looking at the distance here between my next anchor point. So the width is almost the same as well over here at the back and at the end. Okay, so again, put an anchor point over here. Move this a little bit, having a look there at the back. Okay, like so, hold Alt again, take this guy, move him over a little bit. Next anchor point, somewhere over here, again having a look at the width. And again, Alt, select this guy in a little bit. So ju this just helps a little bit. And again, last anchor point, completing everything, but still trying to make a nice swift over here. And that's basically it. Now you guys can see... Over here in the center, it looks a bit weird. Here's a little bit too thick. Now, this is the nice thing with the pen tool. I can just hit Command. Again, Windows users, please use Control. And I can simply go over this again, but stay in the pen tool. And I can just move here my little paths again and tweak it a little bit and try to make it a little bit nicer so it actually gets thinner at the end as well here, thinner on this side or maybe even longer. So this is obviously playing a little bit around with this, trying it out for a few more minutes instead of doing it really quickly and trying to create a really nice uh, kind of swipe here. Okay, so that's basically it. I'm just going to leave it like this now. Okay, and next step, I'm going to hit right click and say define a custom shape. So if you guys want to know more about just defining custom shapes and learning about this, have a look on the channel. I've also created just a tutorial about how to create these custom um, shapes. So what I'm going to do now is just write here swipe three maybe, because I've already created a few, and hit OK. I can hit now escape, get out of the pen tool, zoom out a little bit. And now if we go and press U on the keyboard or on the left hand side, go to our custom shape tool and go to the top here to our library, you will literally have to just scroll all the way down and at the bottom you will see your last swipe. So I've actually created a few already. And as you guys can see, here's my first one and this is the last one. I'm going to select it, hold shift on the keyboard now so it's equally expanding. On the new swipe layer, don't forget that. And I'm just going to make it nice and big. As you guys can see here on the swipe layer, I still need to fill this whole path. So basically, you're going to go with the shape here to the application bar at the top and just hit black here and just fill it up. You guys can also choose a different color over here or go to the color picker menu. I'm going to hit OK, take the move tool again, 
and literally just move this over. I think if you're watching a lot of my tutorials, you will know about this already. So great, you guys can see the outlines. I actually want to hide them a little bit. So I'm going to press Command, Shift and H. I just, I'm ir always irritated by them, so I'm just hiding them. Command T to rotate this a little bit. Okay, turn it a bit more and accept it. So again, I've did this super quickly. Normally I take a bit more time when I do these swipes. Okay, so that's for the start ready. Happy with that. It looks a bit different than my previous one, but you guys kind of get the point. Okay, so I can now take also a boutique floral and just move this text up a little bit. So it just moves together a little bit. And I'm still missing again a little leaf over here. So what I actually did earlier before I started the tutorial, I went back online and just had a look for a few vectors from leaves. And I basically went to Shutterstock and I found a Shutterstock image over here, which I can't find now in my library. So I'll just have to call it up again. Basically over here, I'm just going to drag it quickly into Photoshop and show it to you guys in Photoshop. So I found this on Shutterstock. You can either go ahead and buy this whole system so you already have it, or what I do mostly is just copy it directly here into my canvas. I'm going to hit escape over here and press F again, nice and full screen so we're not distracted by the background. And again, move that to the top, the layer. I'm going to press now Command T, first of all zoom out, press Command T, hold Shift, take an anchor point over here and make this super big. Okay, select this and say accept and I'm just going to take this layer all the way down. So now, first of all, the reason why I make this super big is not to cut out the leaf and use it now, so I can easily actually create a path around it and then also create a custom shape as we did just earlier with the swipe. So I'm not going to show the complete process once again. Basically take your pen tool, go all the way around this and use the shape here or basically the previous image here just as like guidelines to create exactly the shape that you want. Hold Alt again, move this little guy down and yes, just continue doing everything until you completed the path, hit right click and say define the custom shape. So this looks completely weird. I wouldn't use this now, but just showing it to you guys quickly. I'm going to hit cancel, escape and delete this again. So I did this whole step earlier and again press U on the keyboard or custom shape tool, going back into the library and here at the bottom you guys can see because this took me around 10 minutes so I got it really really nice. That's why I'm not showing the whole process. Basically select this and now again hold shift and I can make little small leaves. But before I do that, I still need to create a new empty layer. Otherwise they are combined with our swift layer here. So again, create a new empty layer. I'm just going to write here leave quickly. There we go. Or maybe one, that's also fine because we're going to create a few ones. And hold shift so it's equally expanding and make like a little small leaf over here. Again, I'm going to fill that up under the application bar, complete blackness over here. Okay, and hit Command Shift H, so they're hiding these little outlines. And I can now move this just a little bit over here. Again, maybe press Command T, hold Shift, take an anchor point, make it a bit bigger, and select it. I'm doing this also a bit quicker now. Take you a bit more time when you do these, because these little detail things, also I think they make your logo a little bit better. Now, next step, again, Command J, duplicate that, and I'm just going to press Command T, rotate this a bit, make it a bit smaller again, accept it from the top, and use it also down here somewhere. Maybe just rotate it a bit more. Like I said, I'm going to do this really quickly. Okay, like so, great. I'm going to take Shift and both layers here and put them, first of all, together in a group with Command G. Windows user, please use Control. Double tap on here and I'm just going to write here set 1 or just set, that's also fine. And now I'm going to press Command J, duplicate that step again, move them all the way over to this side. You can either use them now on this side or at the bottom if you want to create a few more ones. What I'm going to do is just go to edit, transform and flip them vertical. Great, just like so. Maybe Command T, rotate them a little bit more so they look a little bit different and place them somewhere over here. Great, so as you guys can see, there's already the first one here and the second one. And now obviously that's basically it. Maybe just taking still the theory here, put that a little bit into 
position and beauty floral. Yep, also placing that a bit better, a bit closer with the cursors up and down. And that's basically it. Again, I'm going to go to view, clear the guides, and now we've got that just on a normal black and white. Actually, you can still put the colors differently. Again, just selecting the fonts and choosing different colors or while you actually work. Again, for the last step, I'm just going to take start, floral theory, the slogan here, Swift, set, and set copy. Press command G and write your logo and put everything together in one logo again. So here's again the before and our after, which looks a little bit different. So obviously take a bit of time. It's a bit of a playing thing and your creativeness that also goes into it. Okay, so that's basically also all for the tutorial. Thanks again for watching, guys. If you really like this tutorial, please hit me up with a thumbs up. Share it with all your friends that are new to this or want to learn something like this. Then as well, don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next tutorial. Thanks again and bye-bye.